Of course you can make toast in a toaster oven, but we're gonna show you other stuff that maybe you didn't think you could do. This video has been sponsored by Noom. And here's the plan, a steak. Yes, a perfectly cooked one. A grilled cheese that we might then take the steak and put it into. A super thin, crispy little pizza. And one more thing that I'm forgetting. Oh, salmon. Salmon, yum. Garlic butter salmon, yum. So let's go steak first because it takes uh, longest. You're telling me that a college kid in a dorm could make steak or salmon? Good point, Max. I'd forgotten that a college kid in a dorm with only a toaster oven could make steak, salmon, pretty much anything they wanted. And you know I forgot that? I'm not messing up anything else, so we're gonna do this right in the pan that it's going into the toaster oven in. We start with soy sauce, and that looks about right. Max, how much was that? A sploosh? Yeah, exactly. It's a perfect sploosh, by the way. Now for a... <laughs> for a hint of sweetness, some honey, nice. Lots of fresh ground black pepper. The pepper and the soy are really what are gonna make this. Okay, the garlic too. Nice big clove of garlic, and we mix. And there I was the other day, chatting away on the subreddit with some of our people, and uh, there's a conversation that said, Sam has not said, and we mixed for some time. Uh, I actually wrote back and said, uh, hang on, in Tomorrow's video, which was the next day, there was an and we mix. And another one right here, and we're still mixing. Okay, when this is all mixed up beautifully like that, now we take our steak. And in our case, we're using a boneless ribeye, my fave. So there's not a lot of marinating time required, but when you put it in, you absolutely, yes, you want both sides covered beautifully. I say if you got 10 minutes, you're gonna be okay. All you're really gonna need. Okay, so like this, like this. So you've got this nicely marinated. I guess, let's pretend we've given it 10 minutes. But now what I wanna do is, I always say, I wanna just lift it up a little bit. I don't wanna cook it right on the deck. So what's gonna help us? A couple big fat onion slices that I'll put here, and I'll put here, and there we are. Now this guy just sits on top all beautifully like that. And now this is ready to uh, go into the kid. The toaster oven kit, I mean. So let's make that transition. Okay, so your standard toaster oven, I guess. And now we have to set it. So I'm doing this backwards. Actually, I'm not even looking. I know I need to get, uh, turn it on, choose the setting and the temperature. So somewhere is something that says always on. Am I near it? Tell me which way to go, up or down. I don't see anything that says always done. Doesn't? No, always on? Always on? No. It doesn't? Oh, stay on. Stay on. All the way left. My You're right. My You're right. right. Okay. No, it's, wait, but it also, it, okay, yeah, no, keep going. It's like all the way until you. Is it off or on? Off. How long but, is this episode supposed to be? <laughs> it says stay on right here. So you said go all the way to. No, I want to turn it to. Now you're on no, stay you, on. You were, I was wanted to do that. Okay, well, now, okay, now this one I need to go to bake. And I think bake is up here, so that's bake. Am I on bake? You're on bake. Okay, nice. good. And now I need to go to 275. We're cooking it low. We've done this before. Reverse sear. Hold on. Let me, hold on. I think I feel like, wait, I feel like it should be. Uh, nope. More or less. More. More. Got it. 275? 275. Perfect. All right. Here's all we're going to do. We open our little uh, hatch. We take the kid. This is all backwards, by the way. Glad I'm not spilling. Wipe his nose, and it goes, and we shut. And now we know from experience. <laughs> what was it? Oh, <laughs> Chancey, come say hi over here. There you go. Hi. Oh, a little more this way. There you go. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving on. Hey, I'm in the uh, food business, obviously, and you're in the food world, obviously, because you're here. And sometimes uh, too much food puts our bodies in a position that maybe we're not always happy about. And that's where Noom comes in. They're about helping you get to a point where you feel good about your weight and or just your physical self. What I like about them is they start by asking about you. They ask you questions like, do you have something special ahead? Do you have something special coming up that you want to look better for or feel better about yourself for? Are you active or are you not active? Noom is not about saying, you can't eat that, you can't eat that, and uh, 45 uh, carrots 
are dinner. That's not what they're here to do. They're here to help you achieve long-term results through habit and behavior change, not restrictive dieting. The program was created by doctors, psychologists, and researchers to help you get to the root cause of weight struggles. You can take advantage of their lessons that really help you start to understand what's going on with you and your relationship to food. Click on the link below or go to noom.com stcg to take your free Noom evaluation. It's quick, it's easy, and it will help you create your custom plan. Custom plan, that means just for you because what you end up wanting could be very different from what I want. That's noom.com slash stcg. You, you wanna do this. Experience uh, tells us that a steak about that thickness will take approximately one hour to cook. Could be a little less, could be a little more. Kind of depends on the accuracy of your uh, oven's temperature. Which I'm going to guess with a relatively inexpensive toaster oven is not all that accurate. So a good instant read thermometer will be your friend in this case. I say start checking it about 45 minutes in. Oh, and you might be wondering, well, if... Uh, you can do this in a toaster oven, then uh, why are we not just doing it in the big oven? Okay, well, yes, that's an option, but maybe you don't want to heat up the whole big oven. Maybe you don't have a whole big oven because you're, you're on a boat, you're in a, in a trailer, you're in a dorm room, or your oven's broken, or you don't like ovens. You, maybe you're anti-oven. Huh, 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 huh? A couple times, we will add a little of the juice from the bottom over the top while it's cooking, and then when it's ready, well, that's the magic part. All right, our time is up, our steak is ready, so let's do this. We'll take them out. Hi, buddy, come on, don't burn me. I'm doing this shit backwards, man. How's that look? Nice. Beautiful, isn't it? Okay, out she comes. And now, to make this easy on myself, I'm gonna turn it up to broil. So I'll just turn it, because it's gonna take four hours if I do it the other way. Bring it back. And when it glows red, which is now. And with our broiler lights a-glowing, we now go back in. The pan's cooled down, obviously, for me to be able to touch it. And just a little bit, a minute or so, maybe two minutes, to just get a little extra color on top. You are like a four-year-old today in that window, aren't you? I just keep seeing myself. Can I just come see what it looks yeah, like? Yeah, come say hi. I'm gonna come over to this chancy side. Where do I have to be? Well, now. Now I don't see anything. Oh, it's just all you. <laughs> I can't see myself. You want me to get you in there somehow? No, I'll come over to your side. You just you step go. out You're for a second. The there you go. Your head's right there. I don't see myself. I can see it. Okay, good. Hi. Why do I do this? I'm always on the camera. Except somehow I felt special. Okay, so just keep an eye on it. You don't really need a whole lot of color, but it's nice. Here's the deal. A regular steak without the soy sauce is going to come out looking kind of gray and will definitely benefit from this. But the soy sauce adds the color, so it's good. But Max wanted a little broiling. He gets a little broiling. All right, let's call it a day. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Come oh, shit. That's hot. There we go. Wow, look how beautiful that is. Okay, hold on, let me put it down. Get rid of our toaster oven friend. So now we'll take our friend off, put him down. And by the way, you should not forget about these onions because whatever you do with this, you can have a bite of onion, it'll be delicious. And now it's just a simple cut we wanna make. Let's just try just like this. See, again, I, I say this and I don't know that everybody always gets it. This cooking it slow and low in the oven gives you gorgeous pieces like this, but cooked through evenly and beautifully. Top to bottom, side to side, perfect. And now a bite. It's perfection. Honestly, tiny bit of soy in the taste. It's not like it's a soy sauce steak. It's just really amplified the flavors gorgeously. And look at, look at this. Mm. And don't forget, toaster oven. Toaster oven. Okay, next, let's make a little pizza thing. We like this idea? Yeah. yeah. Let's go. The base for our pizza will be a flour tortilla, to which we'll add a few little splooches of olive oil, paint it around on both sides, and throw it into the toaster oven to start it cooking at 400 degrees. And while it lives in there for about the three and a half, four minutes, we make the cheesy business. And that will consist of some ricotta cheese, one of my favorites, a big squeeze of garlic, not all of it, perfecto, a little tiny pinch of salt, a little splizzotch, 
of olive oil, a tiny little snip of red pepper flakes, and we mix. I'm telling you, this will be the shit. And when our tortilla is ready, first up is the ricotta. Now look, this is obviously very thin. It's just starting to get crispy, by the way. Very thin, so we're not gonna put too much on because there's one more cheese coming too. Oh. The smell of the garlic and the ricotta is amazing as it gets on this warm little tortilla. Okay, got a nice thin little layer, right? Now it gets a baby sprinkling of shredded mozzarella, or as they would call it in The Sopranos, Max? Mozzarella. Mozzarella, perfecto. And second to last, a little fresh basil, finely chopped, and then a few grinds of pepper. Gorgeous. Now back into the oven. And there it shall live until it's uh, crispy. Six, seven more minutes or whatever works for your particular toaster oven. This bee is in love with me today. Oh, he's just looking for a warm place to live. Come on, buddy. What are you doing here, here? Let me get this poor kid. Come here, buddy. Let me just get you and help walk you outside. Well, we are outside, but around the other side of the house. Come on. Come on. I'm your friend. Who's your daddy? Sorry, who's your papa? Papa doesn't like bees. And, ah. We're down. Look at it. Okay, tiny little drizzle of olive oil now. Just a little, like this. A few drips, just for a little extra richness. And then we can cut it. Wait for it. Nice, nice. Look at this little edge. Look. Nice. Is it a regular big fat pizza? No. Is it a delicious, small, thin, lower calorie a uh, few bites? Absolutely. And I didn't heat up the entire oven. It just came out of my little toaster oven. You hear that? Mm. Mm. It's a delightful combination, it really is. But the reality is, it could be any combination. Just don't make it too thick. But hear my words now. You bust this out in the dorm room during a Netflix and chill session? Wow. I don't think I need to tell you what the results might be. Because they'll be pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Okay, next, salmon. Oh my God. If the little pizza didn't get you, well, the salmon definitely will. Next up, beautiful salmon, beautiful. Couple little fillets, couple people, perfect, right? But we're gonna make a sauce. And the sauce will start with some butter, and then it will get about a half a tablespoon of Dijon mustard. It will get about a teaspoon of fresh chopped garlic, beautiful. And then a squeeze of a bunch of fresh lemon juice that will look like, oh, seed, two seeds, three seeds. Juice of half a lemon without the seeds, if you can help it. Oh yeah, oh yeah, great every fucking seed in the planet. Could have done it a different way, but no, I chose not to. I thought I'd pull the seeds out, but apparently I didn't, and now. I'm pretty sure a fan sent us one of those juicers too. I, I just didn't, I didn't, I didn't. Yeah. I didn't want to do it the good way. I didn't want to do it the good way, you're right. Okay, the uh, little toaster oven is on to about uh, 350. I'm just gonna melt this uh, first, then we move on. Thank you, melt away. Max, I'm pretty sure if you get down low enough, you'll be able to see yourself in the oh, window. Hi. <laughs> hey, I know that guy. <laughs> All right, uh, just as the butter is finishing, let's season our salmon, culture salt and pepper, and it's a reasonably thick uh, couple of pieces, so don't go too light. Perfect. All right, here's what the butter looks like. Looks like this. You know what that looks like? It's like melted butter with garlic and Dijon, and it smells like crazy. It smells crazy good. So we're just doing a little painting here, and that will look like this. Be quite liberal. I like some of the chunky pieces of garlic sitting up on top. And what's good about this, we're gonna cook this on the broil setting. And when it's uh, looking where you want it, let's get the toaster, and in it goes. On the broil setting, as I've said, and no, we're not even gonna have to turn it and we're not even gonna have to turn it. It's maybe gonna be somewhere between 10 and 15 minutes, and it's a factor of how hot the broil setting really is, how cold the salmon is, how thick the salmon is, all that. Probably looking to aim at somewhere around 125 degrees when it's done, but we'll have a good look and you'll know. Okay, we're there, so let's get it out. Come back here, my friend. Wow! Okay, let me put it down. Remove the toaster oven, and let's all just appreciate what's going on here. <sighs> Look it. Little green? When I say little, I mean like, like that. Not that, I like that one, like that one. Wow, look how beautifully it cooked. Look how beautifully it cooked. We didn't even flip it. Didn't even flip it, it's perfect. So watch, it'll separate. Oh, that is absolutely perfect salmon. And if I give it a temp, it's about 130, but now, Get a little bit right here. That's the bite. That is the bite. Butter, lemon, 
garlic Dijon salmon. Five ingredients. Please now. Please. Waiting to go into my mouth. What? That's ridiculous. I don't know how you don't like salmon. Oh, I do. You've been screwing it up. You've probably been cooking it too long. You've been baking it and it's been drying out. This is perfection. Get the little hint of the garlic and the lemon in it. And just a little Dijon. It's all so perfect. One more thing to go. We're making a grilled cheese. Oh, you're gonna like this. Remember the steak? It's coming back. Return visit. I'm, I'm back. back. Grilled cheese. Starts with bread. I think everybody would understand that. So here's how this is gonna go down. On one side, we're gonna put some Japanese mayo, oh, it may not be traditional, but it's right and it's good. Beautiful. Okay, now the first of our cheeses, we're gonna use a combination of Colby Jack, like this and like this. Now, remember our steak? Of course. Thank you, Chance. Just wanted somebody to remember the steak properly. The steak now looks like this. <laughs> okay, I cut it up. You can't put giant slices in. Then you get into that sort of onion ring territory where you take a bite of an onion ring and all you get is hot onion on your chin, and that's bad. So make it easy for people to eat. Oh my God, this is the most gorgeous thing I've ever seen. Next, we put a little combination of mozzarella and the provolone. This is gonna be one fine damn grilled cheese. And then the lid goes on. Now pay attention. Using the uh, wooden spreader from Chansey's Finnish people. Because he's from Finland, if you recall. Because <laughs> his people are from Finland. You do a little there here. Born on the docks. Born on the docks in Helsinki, <laughs> right? Beside a boat and the captain having a bowl of that salmon soup. Oh no, no, no. Oh, shit. Crap. <laughs> Look at where we are. So this is clearly clear. We're gonna give it just a little smidge of garlic powder. And seriously, if this is the only tip you take away from today's video, adding garlic powder to the outside of a grilled cheese, it'll be a damn good one. All right, let's get the tray out of the oven. This has been in the oven heating up. Oh, it's hot as F. The oven's at 400 and the tray's been in there about uh, know, five minutes. So we'll flip this, turn it over. We re-butter this nail top. And as the Finns would say, shuvin. <laughs> <laughs> and that means uh, get her done. A little more garlic powder. <laughs> and done. And now this whole thing goes back in at 400. There. I think it's gonna be maybe uh, eight to 10 minutes, depending again on the oven and the temperature of everything. The cheese, the bread, the blah, blah, blah. About four-ish minutes in, we'll flip it over. Okay, we're at the halfway point. It is looking and smelling amazing, but we're gonna flip it so the bottom gets the benefit. See, it's still soft here, okay? So now this goes back in, another five minutes or so, and we're pigging out. And we are there. Okay, okay, yeah, that's ridiculous. Let's just get it off. And we cut. And we look at what we've got here. Here, check out this backside. Check out this. Couple different types of cheese in here. Oh, mamma mia. Look at this thing. Made in a toaster oven, not a frying pan. Not the classic way, but damn. And the steak? Stop it now. So the melty part is what's important, and the oven lets you do that. You couldn't just make toast and put cheese in it. You need the time and the oven to, to do this. Mother... It's insane. Mix your cheeses. That, I know, is a very good thing. Put garlic powder on the outside when you butter it with Chance's Finnish people's knife. And put steak in it or something. Holy smokes. Okay, thanks everybody. It's been great. We love you. Boys, do we love them? We love them. We love, them. We love you guys. Shop stcg.com for stuff like this. I'm just imagining kids in their dorm rooms Doing this? Putting soy sauce on their steak and getting ready for their date coming over. Their Netflix and chill for the night. <laughs> Those are the legends. That's it. <laughs> this is gonna be a good fucking grilled cheese, I can tell you that. Oh God, yeah. Picture of the toaster oven, say, suck my 